Hi friend, this is Pastor Lucas Pin, and this is our snack for the journey. And this week we are in the book of Acts, a beautiful book. It tells the story, the, the history, the history of the church. A beautiful book, very important. How we started, the main players, uh, the main places, the events, main events in the in the beginning of the, 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 the story after the resurrection of Jesus. So it's a very, very important book I'd like to encourage you to read the whole book and you're going to learn a lot and Luke, Luke is a very important historian and uh, before I read the verse for today I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel and to share this video with your friends and family and help us to bless other people verse for today chapter 10 verse 34 10 34 look what it says then Peter began to speak I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism. You have no idea how important is this text here, the, the whole story here, because it's a very important story because Cornelius was, a, was in Caesarea, was, he was a centurion, a Roman guy, but he was a religious guy. And, 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 and God appeared to him and, and said, hey, show there is a man called Peter in so-and-so place and send for him. He has a words, important words for you. It's interesting, this the whole story. Read the whole story, it's a great story. And, and Peter, when the, 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 he has a vision and all that kind of thing, and, and Peter is a, is a Jewish guy, he said, hey, I'm not going to mess it up with the, with the impure things. He's a, he's a, he's a piece of fabric with a, all, all kind of animal, and the, the voice says, kill and eat. He said, no, oh, those animals are impure. And, and then the boys would come and say, do not consider impure what God considers pure, and all that kind of thing. God was preparing Peter to meet the centurion, the Roman, and, and, the, the, and then the guys came and said, hey, you have to come with us. If, if, if a centurion uh, soldier, uh, uh, a soldier that a Roman soldier come to your door and say, you have to come with us, you go with them, right? You don't have option. And Peter go got some well, friends with him, said, hey, I need some witnesses here, some guys with me, so I don't want to. I don't want to get in trouble, so he goes with those guys, and then God entered there, and, uh, and, and the centurion tells Peter the story. He says, "Hey, an angel came to me and, and said this. Ask me to to call you because you have something to say, and we're ready to hear." And Peter felt that man. The gospel is to everybody; it's not just for the Jews. That is the key that Peter received, the key of the kingdom. He's going to open the kingdom to other people than the Jews, a centurion, a Roman person, pagan, a Gentile. And the door is open. This is what he's saying. But I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism. Oh, that is great. Because the Jews, they thought that they were the only one, they were the elect, and then the, there's nothing for the others. And, and, and that, wasn't, that was not the plan. The plan was through them to reach out others. And Jesus came and said, that's still the plan. The gospel is to everybody. Make disciples of all nations. Preach the gospel to the whole world. That is the plan. Peter now realized that, you know what, it's not just for us, for the Jews, it's to everybody. They can believe. Everybody can believe. And, and look what, where you got. It started there. That is the story that opened the door. And now you and me here, whatever you are, we have the gospel and the faith in Christ and the salvation Christ available to us because it started right here in this story. It's a great story. It's a great story. The love of God to all, to all. And this is our snack for today. God bless you.